Welcome, this is James Stevens with Jack Kinesiology, and I'd like to welcome you to our 250.30 Public Demonstrations Supplemental Video Training. And what we're going to be taking a look at in this particular session is some further coaching tips, and you're going to see some actual live demos as we do this type of testing. Now, one of the things to keep in mind as we do this testing is mental conditioning on your part. And so, one of the things that I've discovered is over the years that the type of what it is that I bring to the party makes a difference. In other words, if I go into the public demo with trepidation and concern and wondering whether it's going to work or not, I get those results, which is not necessarily what you want, right? So it is better to go in with a, uh, a conditioned mind in that it is conditioned for a positive outcome. And so oftentimes uh, when a person is testing, when they're doing the actual testing, what I'll be doing in my mind, I'll be saying it silently to myself, is that this person is going to do wonderful on the testing. Of course, I don't want to influence them into testing any particular way on the products because after all that's contrary to the uh, integrity of jet testing where we help a person come to their own intelligent conclusions around what is right for them but rather that I see them performing well doing the muscle testing every time that they're pulling on the bar I'm silently making that affirmation to myself another uh, thing to uh, keep in mind is that you can use the train the brain cue cards as well. A couple of them that uh, come to mind is, uh, especially as you're starting to learn how to do public demos, is this one right here. I agree to set aside my experience right now and rely on the success of others. Because as you're learning how to do this, you don't necessarily have that experience of having done a lot of public demos, so you don't have that confidence behind you yet. But I can assure you I have done thousands of these demos over a period of five or six years. Every Saturday I was doing maybe a hundred uh, demos in a, in a single day and so I became very comfortable with it and I'm here to assure you that you can achieve the same results as I have. So rely on my experience in the meantime while you're developing your own experience. Another cue card out of the Train the Brain series that is a good one for you to have is when those demos don't go so well for you is to use this card right here. In the presence of what seems to be contrary evidence I agree to trust right now. Once again, bringing yourself back to center, back to a place of, of balance of where you are again being mentally uh, in, a, in a positive state, even if you have a, a demo that doesn't go well. And I'm going to show you later on exactly how it is that I handle a quote failed uh, muscle testing demo. And the reason why I say quote failed is because in my opinion there's no such thing as a failed muscle testing demo, especially when it's approached in the way that I'm going to be demonstrating it to you. I also have a, a couple of notes that I have on the side over here that I'm going to be covering to make sure that I get you all of the points that you need. And so the first thing that I want to talk about is how it is that uh, I demonstrate to a client some statistics around muscle testing, letting them know up front that they may not respond immediately to the muscle testing. And so you're going to see that in the demonstration, as well as what to expect when they are responding and in a what we call a testable state, which you've already learned about as far as what it is that they can expect from it. And so you want to have that conversation with a person. The next thing that we'll be doing is going through a quick warm-up process. And in this warm-up process, it's going to be a little bit different from what it is that you learned in Course 102, where you were learning how to use the smart stick and qualify yourself for testing, because uh, they're not going to be doing exactly the same thing. So pay attention. Uh, for those differences as we go along. And then we're going to be doing the actual, and I, I apologize for that, it looks like uh, we just had a little blip in the screen there, but such is technology. Hey, you're getting me right on the spot in your own place. You know, what more could you ask? And so what we're going to do is also show you uh, how it is that 
we have a person uh, internalize what happened for them because obviously the the purpose of a, of a public demonstration or a muscle testing demonstration is to have a person walk away from that uh, uh, positively impacted from it and so part of that is for them to take ownership of what it was that just occurred with them so you'll be seeing me uh, talk a little bit about that when I do the muscle testing with our model okay and so now what we're going to be doing is introducing to you uh, our model. Her name is Jeannie, and she's going to be um, going through the process. Now, she has no idea what to expect at this point, and like most of your people that you'll be working with, they don't either. So I've purposely kept her in the dark, just letting her know to do what it is that I ask her to do, much in the same way that you're ask going to be asking uh, your uh, prospects and people that you want to demonstrate on to do what it is that you want them to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with that. I'm going to go ahead and change a couple of positions in the camera and uh, we'll be right set for you, okay? We have our trusty mic set on me and then on somebody else. And the next thing I need to do is change the camera position. Okay, and that should have us pretty well situated. And I'd like to introduce our model. Welcome, Jeannie. It's good to have you here. Hello. How are you doing today? Great. A little bit under the weather, but you're still feeling like you can do this, right? Yes. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and get started. And what I'd like for you to do is to uh, participate with me in this muscle temps testing demonstration but there's a couple of things that I want to bring to your attention first and uh, so what we do is if you take a little bit of a look at this card right here and what you'll notice is as we take a look at that card there it has a pie chart where it shows about two-thirds and then one-third okay? okay and I'm gonna go ahead and bring this on the screen for our students here and what I'd like for you to do is read along in this portion right here where it says that approximately two out of three people respond to muscle testing right away. And on the average, one out of three will need some quick adjustments before the muscle testing will work, right? Do you see where it says that? Okay, so some of those adjustments are pretty simple. It's, uh, it's a matter of hydration or uh, sometimes a, a, uh, it's a blood sugar level thing and a portion of wholesome food will fix that. And then uh, we have to wait a little while and then these adjustments will work three out of four times. But first of all, let's find out which group you're in 